Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Okay, so I came to one of the fort. This is a process. I came to one of the forts in Ghana Central Railway called Fort Williams, and I saw a picture of some of the slaves, and I realized this guy right here looks like Snoop Dogg. So I don't know, maybe this is um, a Snoop Dogg is a descendant of this man here. So Snoop Dogg, if you get to watch this video, I think we found uh, one of your ancestors right here. I think you should come to Ghana, come to Anumabu, fort and learn about history, all right? Thank you. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson, I'm a Ghanaian and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Right, so we encourage visitors to come to Anmabu to have an experience. Destination Anmabu is an amazing place. Uh, my name is Osei Jesse, the site manager of Anmabu Tourism Information Center. We have about 14 attractions in Anmabu. We come, we have a Fort William, we have Memorial Garden of Return, the second oldest Methodist church in Ghana. We have a unique Postuban shrines in Anmabu. Honestly, I will not lie that the last time I came here to make a video here, that was like about five years ago. And Amabu didn't have this asphalt pitch. Yes, Amabu didn't have this beautiful street. Now I would say that whoever is championing this project of putting Amabu, this so beautiful, has really done well. Because, I mean, you need to visit Anumabu. It's a fishing community in central region of Ghana. I call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland.
One thing I don't like about visiting dungeons is usually when I go in alone, I don't like it at all. I fear, I have some kind of fear when I visit tour sites where we have dungeons, like mostly the castles or the forts, and I have to be somewhere alone like this. I get nervous. I feel like something is going to happen to me. I don't know, but that's how I feel. So let's go to the top. So we are currently in Fort Williams, located in a fishing community called Anumabo, where you see the fishermen doing their thing, mending their net, and some of them giving a fresh coat to their canoes. Like I said, oh fuck, fuck, sorry for my, shit, sorry for that word, I, a cat just jumped in from outside, <laughs> from one of the windows, God, sorry about the word that I used, yeah, I just missed the heartbeat, already I told you that when I'm getting in alone, even though I came with some people, they are down there and I'm up here doing my thing. And when I'm inside one of the rooms alone, I get scared. And just when, when I was, when I, when I entered one of the halls this side, and when I was about to go inside, um, a cat, a black cat just jumped from the window. Shit. Anyway, let's continue.
honestly this fort was very well built i mean if you look at certain things the structure of the whole thing you will say that no this structure was really built This is a beautiful city of Anumabo, it's a fishing community here in the central region of Ghana. Oh, 